When you don't want to be disturbed, or you're away from your desk or out of the office, you can have Outlook send automatic replies to some or all of the people who send you email messages. And if you're going to be away for a while, you can set up rules to help manage incoming messages. For example, you can create rules to file messages from specific people, or delete certain types of messages, or forward messages to someone else. This course explains how to use the Automatic Replies feature, which you may know by another name, the Out of Office Assistant. I'll also show you the basics of using rules with your automatic replies. Before you start, remember that automatic replies are only available if you use Outlook with a Microsoft Exchange server account. To see the types of accounts you have configured in Outlook, click the File tab, click Account Settings, and then Account Settings, and the Email tab shows you the accounts that are configured for Outlook. Another way to know if you have an Exchange account is to see if the Automatic Replies command is available. If it isn't, you don't have an Exchange account. So, to start sending Automatic Replies, click the File tab, and then click Automatic Replies. Click Send Automatic Replies, and if you want, specify a start and stop time for the replies. Click Only Send during this time range, specify a starting date and time, and then an ending date and time. If you don't do this, Outlook sends automatic replies until you manually turn them off. Enter the message that you want people to see, and if you want to, use the formatting options here. Just remember that this automatic reply will only be seen by people inside your organization. If you want people outside your organization to receive an automatic reply, click that tab, and then click Auto Reply to People Outside My Organization. Just like the internal replies, you can specify a start and end time. Also, if you select My Contacts Only, replies go to the people in your Contacts folder. Otherwise, they go to everyone. Enter and format your message, and as soon as you click OK, the automatic replies either go into effect, or, if you set a start time, they'll go into effect when that start time is reached. When you want to stop automatic replies, you can either let the end time setting take effect, or you can go to the File tab and click Turn Off. You can also start the Automatic Replies dialog box, click Do Not Send Automatic Replies, and then click OK. Either method stops the replies immediately. So that's how you start and stop automatic replies. Next up, we'll look at how to use rules with automatic replies.